Hi, my name is Scott Weiss, and I'm here to show you how the power of LabVIEW can be used to control a low-cost Arduino board. To start out with, I'm soon to be a father, um, and I'm really excited to have a baby here in the next little while, but I realized that babies cry a lot. When you try to put them to sleep, they tend to cry. So, you know, people have these little moguls that rotate over them, mesmerize them, make them go back to sleep. Um, the problem is, is that most mobiles are manual. You have to turn it on when the baby's crying, and then turn it off when he's asleep. As an engineer, you know, I want to be able to automate that process. And so, what I want to do is have a mobile that's going to be sound activated. That as the baby cries, it rotates around, um, and then checks you know, every 15 minutes to see if the baby's still crying. If the baby's not crying, it'll just turn off. Um, I also want this mobile to, to actually change directions as well. You know, try to keep the baby's attention. Um, and then I also want to be able to add LED lights to it um, so that those lights can you know, mesmerize the baby and those lights are also going to change colors as it rotates and dim in and out. Basically a pretty complicated process. So come ahead and take a look at what I've got here. Here's my prototype of the mobile um, and I also have this Arduino board where I've connected a microphone to it um, as well as a motor. Um, and then as you can see I also have my LEDs uh, that will turn on when it, the motor is activated. Um, so looking here on the screen with LabVIEW, uh, I have here my threshold in which I want to uh, look to see if the voltage level rises above. And this white line here is the audio or the voltage level from the microphone. So we're waiting to see if that microphone has reached the threshold. So I'm going to go ahead and, and rub on the microphone activate that mobile and you can see now it's turning on its own the lights are changing the mobile's switching directions the baby is mesmerized and falls fast asleep and for this example we're only going to run it for about 20 seconds um, instead of 10 minutes but you can see after the 20 seconds it's going to stop and wait for the baby to cry again and my hope is that this will allow me um, to be able to have more time to build even more cool customized toys for my baby. Thank you very much.